What's up LinkedIn, another video. Um, so for this video, I want to discuss uh, how, how <clears throat> stirred my words. I want to discuss the importance of reputation and why it's so important. Um, so the, the thing about reputation is, well, first off, what is reputation? Reputation is the public, your public self, okay? So in life, you have two selves, your public self and your private self. Your public self is an image that you want to that you want the public to perceive you as, okay? So, um, what's the importance of that? Why does it matter? Well, you're probably wondering like, who cares what other people think? Who cares about my public image? Why should I care? Well, the reason is, is that your public standing will be a dictating factor upon how you make progress in your workplace. So see, this is the problem of, especially if you're uh, a wage earner or the proletariat against the bourgeoisie. The problem is that, um, that they dictate your progress that you will make is the problem. They're, they're dictating your progress, okay? So that's a very significant problem. <laughs> um, so, this is why you need to care because your reputation will dictate how much success you will get in life, okay? So, that's why they say make good first impressions. You need to make a good impression. So, again, I'm just gonna stick to my uh, three things of why reputation is important. Why reputation is important, okay? So, the first factor I want to uh, talk about is um, reputation dictates promotion. And I'm speaking of promotion in two senses, in the sense of position of power and position of value. Okay, so what you have to understand is that um, is that reputation and power, reputation is what your superiors will view you as in your competence level. And that will dictate if they believe you to be competent enough to lead or to get somewhere with your life rather than just being a mediocre freaking, uh, I don't mean, what's a good word? Uh, A mediocre slave, really. <laughs> like, if you actually really want to get somewhere, then reputation is everything. So you you have to be mindful of that. If you're if you're working at like at a job and you're like, you don't care what anyone thinks, you're you're kind of screwing yourself because every instance that they view you will dictate the public image of what you will be viewed as. So you need to be actively molding how they view you. You should be from the from the get-go, from the first time you get that job, you should be like, yeah, he's very reliable and he's very, uh, he's very this and he's very that, okay? So public reputation will dictate if they believe you're competent. I see the problem with reputation is it doesn't matter if you are or aren't competent. It doesn't matter if you're good or bad, you're public image will dictate if you get the job. That's why people who are like utterly incompetent get like these high positions of power, not because they're good, not because they're better than you or because they're more skilled, it's just because they have the look. They have the look that they appear to be competent, they appear to know what they're doing. It doesn't mean they are, they, it doesn't mean that they know what they're doing though. That's why public reputation equals promotion. If you have very good public reputation, you have promotion and that equates to money and power. And that's what we want, or at least I want, we want, <laughs> I would hope so, because that's what that's what is going to get you what you want in life. It will get you what you want, okay? Um, 
And then the second factor I would say with, with re the importance of reputation is uh, public reputation reverberates. It will reverberate wherever you go, okay? Especially at once you get up around 23-ish, 24-ish, it's going to reverberate. Whether you run into politics or whether you want to get into business politics, whatever that is, it will reverberate. And that's going to carry over. So you need to be very careful because people will... Uh, will be out there to ruin your reputation. You need to treat that like life and death. If your reputation is ruined, you're done for it. You're done. You're done. Okay? Like, you're, you're, you're done. Your reputation is invaluable. It's immaterial. But it will dictate everything. It's like, what's a good example? Um... Here, I'll just use the, the example for, from Theodore Roosevelt because that's the, a, a real example that I know of. Um, so after Theodore Roosevelt uh, lost the election of uh, 1916, he ended up running for another election in 1918. Uh, he endorsed uh, President Taft for re-election and then they went against Woodrow Wilson, but President or Theodore Roosevelt did two thing wrong, two factors wrong politically. First, he said he wasn't going to run for a third term, but decided he was going to run for a third term because Taft went against his policies, okay? So, no consistency there. Um, second factor is he ended up losing the election for the Republicans and Woodrow Wilson ended up winning the presidency. So, politically speaking, he was pretty much he was politically dead. He committed political suicide when he made the Splinter Party, the Bull Moose Party, in hopes of winning. And he knew he was, he was not going to win, but he did it because he wanted to do it. But the point is, though, is that this is an example of reputation. After the, the election of 1916 or something like that, or 1918, around there, uh, he was a political, he was politically isolated and politically exiled. The Republican Party would never give him the nomination ever again because they lost him the election. The, the Republicans had held the House since 1898, which was about 25 years. So I'd be pretty pissed off too if someone in my own party wanted to destroy the Republican Party. So, <laughs> um, so this is an example of public reputation equating to public results. So after that, he was just viewed as this uh, violent person, very uh, strong, fiery rhetoric, and he wasn't really seen as credible anymore because he committed p political suicide. <laughs> um, so, and obviously, you're wondering, how, you're wondering why, how does that apply to me? Well. The third reason why it applies to you is, or the third reason why public reputation matters is because public reputation is your everyday life. Public life is your everyday life. We live our lives in two facets, private life and public life. Your public life is, is outside of your own comfort zone. Your comfort zone is your house. So right now, I, you could say I'm in my private life in some sense. Outside my house, I'm in my public life. So this is what it applies to everything. Your public life is everything. Your public view of you in the city, you don't want, you want the city to view you as good. You want your employer or you as a boss to be seen as good. You want to be seen as consistent and if your public life is destroyed, you're destroyed, basically. Because every time someone engages you, they're gonna have that image and view of you. See, this is what most people don't understand is that the public life, it doesn't matter what type of abilities you have. It doesn't matter that you're actually a good person. It doesn't matter for the fact that you're consistent. And these things don't matter, that's only what the other person perceives. It doesn't matter what you say, and whatever they perceive, perceive to be reality is reality. 
so actually main, maintaining your public life is more is the, one of the most important things you can do for promotion and it's important for long-term success because if because even though that you're going to say you don't care if you don't care then you're never really going to get up much of the corporate ladder, not really. You're never really gonna get anywhere to where you want to get to because you're not managing your public life and you're not being intentional. You're not being intentional with how you manage people. So, it doesn't really bode well. Um, so just remember that your public life, public life, public image, equals promotion, public life is transparent. Public life is everywhere. You're always in public life except private life. Once you leave your house, you're in public life and you have other expectations you must manage. If you fail to manage those expectations, you're done for, you're, you're, you're done really. It's very hard to uh, repair reputations, very, very difficult. Once it's destroyed, it's very, very hard to repair it. Um, what else? And then just remember that if your public reputation is destroyed, then, uh, I mean, I don't really have a good answer, really. There, there really is, if, if your public reputation is destroyed, you're pretty much screwed. There's not really a good way to go about it because with the one thing we have to understand about the nature of power is that power is a is a interdependent relationship upon one another. So if you don't manage your own supporters, then they won't give a damn about you. So <laughs> this is for my young and hungry lions out there who all want a piece of the pie. If you want a piece of the pie, manage your public reputation, really. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, um, leave it down in the comments below or, believe, or you believe that you have something else to contribute to the conversation. Um, thank you, LinkedIn. Have a good day.